sorry, first question is how often should I work out? Um, so realistically, you want at least four days per week, moving your way up to six. Um, I know some people try seven, but you're not really giving yourself enough rest. So rest is the, the main culprit if you're working out every day or six days uh, per week. You want to have that rest in between so your muscles are able to recoup, recover, because um, recovery is key before you go into the next training session. So um, say legs, you go into another leg day and you're still extremely sore even to touch. Um, realistically, you're not going to get the benefits out of, out of that workout and you're not going to put your muscle in an environment to grow. Um, you're just going to basically inherit yourself closer to injury more so than adapting to a bigger muscle. Um, the next one would be um, you want to work a little bit more than four days, anything minimum than four days. Realistically, you're not putting your body in an environment that wants to grow. So if three days, if you're a beginner really, but if you're an uh, intermediate to advanced enthusiast, you want to get at least four day um, rotation. So you're able to hit your legs, hit your, uh, your pushes, your chest and your tries, um, your back and your buys one day and maybe a shoulder another day, or you can mix that up. You can do chest and shoulders, uh, back by itself and in arms for your fourth day. So. There's, there's plenty of avenues that you can hit everything all at once, um, but you need a minimum of four days to get that, that body in that environment that it really wants to grow and you're able to push it to the limit. Um, so how long should your workouts be? Um, realistically, no less than 45 minutes to an hour. Um, and if you're doing 45 minutes to an hour, that means your breaks are very, very minimal. Um, you're looking at 45 second to 60 second breaks in between each set. Um, usually looking at four, at least four sets per exercise, um, in my opinion. But m the problem what most people do is they increase that time in between sets. They chat with their friends, they're on their phone, they're taking their selfies, all that stuff. Um, really, if you're, if you're in the mindset that you want to grow, and you want to put on muscle, you need to get it out of that. Like put your phone down, put your headphones on, put your head down, put, do your work. So um, it, all, it all comes down to you. So the longer you take in between the sets is basically you're going to start losing your pump. You're going to start losing um, that, that optimal window that your body wants to grow, and then you're going to have to restart it. So the longer you wait, the more blood is being pushed out of that muscle. You're not putting more in and then you gotta have to restart that pump again. So go off a of feel. Um, if you feel that your pump is starting to diminish, you need to get back in that set. So um, taking any longer in my mind than a minute and a half between the sets, you're just, you're wasting your time in my opinion. You need, to, you need to shorten that break and you need to put your body in an environment that it wants, wants to grow. Um, and, it's, and it's in an environment that you're putting the stress on the muscle um, and you're putting the most stress on the muscle that it adapts to that environment. Um, really long breaks, you're basically making it comfortable yourself. So you're not pushing yourself, you're not pushing yourself to the limit, and you're not giving yourself that environment that your body wants to grow. So um, I would say longest day in the, in the gym would be an hour and a half, and that's if the gym was really busy um, and you're doing tons of exercises that day, um, minimum 45 minutes, and that's what short breaks like. 30, 60 seconds, supersets, drop sets, high intensity type stuff. So um, that would be my opinion on those, those two questions. So um, check it out and hope it helps you out.